Hi, Max Carburetor Parts here. So I want to answer the question, what causes my 1940 Holley to flood? Uh, now we'll talk about a little bit about flooding and running rich. Two different things, uh, it, but in general, uh, the same, some of the same things can cause either, okay? So flooding, <coughs> excuse me, flooding means uh, you're running it and gas is pumping out of here. So this is a vent to the float bowl. That means the float bowl is overflowed and the uh, gas is running out of here. Uh, gas could be running out of the throttle shaft uh, when it's getting too much gas. Uh, so what causes that? Um, one of the main things that causes it is a bad needle and seat. And on this one, see there's your needle, okay? Um, it could have got damaged while adjusting the float. You always adjust the float outside of the carburetor. Don't try to adjust it with the, with the needle and seat in there or you could damage it. Uh, this isn't as bad as uh, some because it doesn't have that bite and rubber on the end of it. And that's what gets damaged. Uh, but you do need to make sure this is uh, clean. So, very simple, blow through it. I just used my mouth. Uh, you can use a vacuum gauge also, but they're vacuum uh, tool. Uh, anyway, with this sticking out, with the pin sticking out, it it's, flows through. If you hold it in, you shouldn't get anything. Now, if you blow hard enough, you might, because the fuel pump itself is only about four and a half pounds of pressure. So that's what you're looking for. So that's your number one culprit to check on right there. Okay. <clears throat> now, if it's dirt, when you take the top off and you see dirt in it, uh, that could be your uh, fuel filter is dirty, uh, which should be changing anyway. So you want to check that. You want to check and make sure that... Uh, that the float pontoons uh, first of all with uh, shouldn't shouldn't have taken that out quite yet uh, you can try and raise your uh, floats up, up, float up and down and make sure it's not catching see that'll be closed right there when it lifts up these pontoons uh, when you put a straight edge across here it should just barely touch the top of the pontoons now this this carburetor has brass. We replaced the nitrofill. We highly recommend that. Uh, we found some of the nitrofills being made now are, are not holding up to ethanol. That's why we have gone almost completely to, to brass ourselves. Um, sometimes you can only get the nitrofill, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, you can shake these and listen. Is there any uh, fuel sloshing around in it? Or... Uh, Go ahead. Okay, I got interrupted, so I may duplicate some information. So I, I took the float out, and, uh, and incidentally, never adjust a float with a pond. Don't bend the pontoons. They'll end up leaking right here. Um, so as I said, you shake it. Do you hear any fuel in there? Now, if the thing's been sitting for 10 years, the fuel, the fuel is going to be evaporated out of there. So heat up some water just pr prior to boiling. Immerse this in the, in the hot water and the air inside the pontoons will expand and it'll start blowing out bubbles and that's how you tell if they leak so always do that when you have it apart so that's the float as far as the float adjustment goes uh, they it really has to be way off to be to flood for gas to come out the top they have to be way off and that's the first thing people want to do i think they just don't know better uh, they want to adjust the float so and don't fudge the float up or down just to make it not flood or not run rich uh, you're probably just covering up some other problem figure out what the problem is first okay so as far as rich goes uh, when it's idling and you're getting black smoke coming out or smells uh, check your check weight this is the main discharge this is when you step on the gas it uh, forces fuel out here and uh, through the main discharge and here's which so you want to make sure the uh, check ball and check weight is in there if you if you lost your check weight you can try using a second check ball um, 
you see that weight is just slightly down uh, it needs room to lift up uh, if it's too tall it's not going to lift up not letting gas in. anyway if these this leaks and at idle if you look down the uh, top of the carburetor idle and you see gas dribbling out through the main discharge here um, then there's something wrong with the main discharge so it could be leaking tested uh, my rebuild video shows you how to test it I'm not going to go through that again now um, if it, you suspect at least leaking uh, tap the check ball gently to help form a uh, seal down at the bottom make it more round I should say uh, oh fuel pump pressure uh, it's very important especially if you put a new fuel pump in it they're always suspect I don't know why they just don't seem to be making them as good these days probably because they all come from China I suspect and uh, so make sure it's not too much pressure and you cannot take your fuel line off the inlet and to see if gas is pumping out of it that's not going to tell you anything you got to measure it and there are fuel pump testers be careful there's some for uh, uh, fuel injection and there's some for carburetors you can get the one for the carburetor because the fuel injections can go up to 100 pounds and your carburetor is like four and a half to five maybe uh, I'm not sure what the 1940 is. Most most repair manuals will tell you what it should be for your particular vehicle. So uh, let's see what else. Make sure I don't forget anything. Uh, as far as gas coming out of the throttle shaft, I hear that sometimes. Is my throttle shaft leaking? No, there's no seal on the throttle shaft. Uh, what it's doing is gas is uh, coming out of the too much gas is getting in the carburetor through the main discharge or whatever and running down the carburetor and the one thing it hits is the throttle valve uh, and then just runs out the shaft so that's what that's doing okay so as far as running rich uh, it could be the uh, uh, jets are too big if somebody has changed and put larger jets in it but if you've been running the carburetor okay and then all of a sudden you start having this problem don't change the jets the jets don't wear out and um, they're just a hole in a piece of brass basically get down right to get right down to it so uh, it, it, it but if you bought one off online or something like that and then you don't have any idea what's in it so watch your spark plugs if they're burning black it's running too rich or ignition always check your ignition first people don't do that they do it backwards they go after the carburetor and nine times out of ten it'll be your ignition that's bad uh, bad spark plugs uh, wires whatever if it's not firing good that the plugs are not going to burn right you want tan or brown uh, on the plugs if they're black they're running too rich so now if you went up from uh, say the carburetor went from sea level up to 5,000 feet that's your break off uh, anything over 5,000 feet your carburetor would probably run too rich you're gonna have to lower the size of your jets by 0 0.002 and then check your plugs again that's the best way is to wa watch your plugs so uh, let's see and then catch your oh uh, your power valve uh, this here this is your power piston and then there's a little valve at the bottom make sure it moves easily it's not stuck uh, if it's stuck open it, it will allow too much gas to get into the carburetor so that's another possibility people forget okay so that's about it for flooding it's basically comes down to too much gas is getting in the float bowl so it just forces it out it's got to go somewhere okay so there you go hope that helps you and uh, don't forget to do your business at Mike's carburetor parts um, when we sell kits we're able to do these videos thank you for watching